good luck everybody. I'm going to give you a quote from a book. Uh, I want to know who the person is talking about. Rooted in the same sublime ordering of space that one sees in the pictures of Vermeer or church painter Peter Jans Sarandam, it was the music of the spheres on grass. It was written by David Winner about whose vision of perfect movement and harmony on the field in his book Brilliant Orange, the neurotic genius of Dutch football. <laughs> Fraser! You are crying. Yay! Come on, give it for Fraser there. It was you who did it. Fraser! <laughs> you just have to kind of keep your eyes on that. Next question. What? Yeah. Jack, Jack quickly. Straight in, Jack. Yeah, we were waiting for him. I know we were. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. We've had one question, Jack, and you're not in first place. Let's give Jack a polite round of applause for getting here. Awesome. Well done, Jack. Well done, Jack. Well done, Jack. Well done, Jack. The, the Harrington mate, it's not you. We want something more kind of Noel Coward. Okay, which standard feature on motor cars was first patented or patented by Frederick William Lanchester in his Birmingham factory? Go on, Jack. I'm afraid not. Minus one, Jack. Comes in. Woo, hear that noise. Uh, in 1902, but were largely impractical until materials technology enabled a Jaguar C type fitted with calipers to win the 1953 24 Hours of Le Mans, followed by mass production in 1955. So no, no, mass it's production it's on the Citroen DS. Oh, right, Stephen. Anti lock breaking. Uh, Pat. Hey, Anti lock breaking. No. no nothing away. Matt Laycock, no, nothing away. This breaks. This breaks is correct, Matt. Well done, let's get on with it. One second. Yeah, good to go. The battles of Adwalton Moor. Alborn Chase and Alton were all engagements in which conflict, all taking place in the year following the Battle of Edge Hill in the Sam. Sam. Civil War. English Civil War. No. You said that with a question at the end, right? You didn't I don't know. Really like when it's, it sounds easy, yeah. Yeah. What is the purpose of a nootropic drug? Cinematic examples being NZT 48 in the 2011 film Limitless and CPH Sam. Sam to increase your brain usage um, out of the capacity yeah. cognitive yeah. enhancement etc yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, yeah, and CPH4 in 2014's Lucy it's not again. Yeah. cognitive enhancement etc great answer Sam especially without the Lucy bit Bradley Cooper in 2011 mm. not as good as Lucy for me in 1928 who was the first woman to be flown across the Atlantic and almost four years later became the first female to make the solo <laughs> Tony <laughs> Walmsley? <laughs> of course it was Amelia Earhart. <laughs> Played by Kate Mulgrew in Star Trek Voyager. No, no, she yeah, wasn't. She met her, she met her, didn't yeah, she? She met her in Edward. Yeah. In which town... In which town on Watling Street and overlooking the River Thames were Graham Dilley, Malcolm Allison, Mick Jagger, and Keith Richards all born? Have a guess. <laughs> Sam Roberts. <laughs> Deptford? No. Fraser? Staines. Staines? No. Um, Henley? No. Nobody else? <laughs> Matt Laycock? Yeah. Pan? Dartford. Yeah, I thought you said Gaffer. No. Dartford's the correct answer. Uh, yeah, Absolutely. Nice. Well done. Second. This time we want to county. In which English county are the castles at Prudhoe, Dunstan, Matt Lake up. Oh, two in a row, going for the hat trick. Prudhoe, it's pronounced Prudhoe. Yeah, well, it's pronounced Conquery as well, but I didn't know that, did I? <laughs> <laughs> which married partnership wrote such hits as I'm Every Woman, Tony. Time mystery woman. Um, Ashford Simpson. 
Yep. Nicholas asked with him, Valerie Simpson. Well done. I think he was very tardy there. You'll be pulled on that next time, no, mate. I, I couldn't afraid. get the words out of my mouth. I knew who it was. <laughs> yeah, we all, we, that's the old excuse. we all knew that you knew who it was, and we all knew you couldn't get the word out. The part the skill of this, in which year, Sam, did Dutch captain Willem Schouten round Cape Horn? Pocahontas arrived in England. René Descartes graduated at the age of 20, and on the 23rd of April, both Miguel de Cervantes, Jack, like the ultimate warrior in WrestleMania 3 from out of nowhere, it's Jack Bennett. Well done. WrestleMania 8. What was it, yeah? WrestleMania 8? Yeah. Yeah, WrestleMania 8. Yeah, debut back WrestleMania 3. Sorry. Fucking <laughs> Which word for a branch of scientific study now discredited is a translation of the Arabic for philosopher's stone? Fraser. Alchemy. Yes, Fraser, you've got two points on my four points on my question. Who else wants to say alchemy? Put your hands up, please, if you want to go for that. This is kind of really weird question to ask. Lenore, or Lenore, L-E-O-N-O-R-E, Clive knows the answer already. Or, the triumph of married... Tony? Fidelio. <laughs> Kitty Fidelio, yes, well done. <laughs> Thanks for bailing me out. I don't judge. Because your name's Milanaro, anyway. I was going to go for it as soon as you said that, but I'm going to leave for a little bit more. You're thinking it's a fabric conditioner? Mm. Okay, here's it. The Golden Chime Villa. Check this out. Film, football and philosophy. <laughs> you don't, they don't get much better than this, Jack. Specifically, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, <laughs> Mark Laycock, Socrates. a deceased doctor and the teacher of Plato and Xenophon is Socrates. Well so done, so yes. Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Give it some <laughs> yeah. If three cars... One each from Nigeria, Cambodia and Eritrea were parked in that order facing a wall. What would be spelled by their international plates? Good question. Good start. No! <laughs> Mike Lee's. Nice. No. Sam. Nickers. Huh? Nickers. No. Tony. Nice. No. Trying to no. get into it there. I forgot what the three Time's up. Wanker. I was really? I knew it would be rude. Challenge knowledge is doubly on the for Nigeria, mate. You've, oh, got, to, you, you've got to catch them all. Western. Number 15. Which film... I'm going to say, actually, I've got to clue you up on this. Which uh, British film, which old British film, was inspired by a true incident during the Second World War? Tony. Whiskey Go on. I'm afraid not. Minus right. one. Good, good, good shout, though. Was inspired by a true incident during the Second World War when the maternity ward of Ottawa Civic Hospital was temporarily declared extraterritorial by the Canadian <laughs> government. Mark Lecoq, I spoke to Pimlico. Oh, yes. Damn, Sal. You were so close on that one. Passport to Pimlico. I know it's the right answer. I know I'm flashing over, but I, I did write them. I can't remember a lot. I've got 24 hour memory. Next one. Which astronomer, this is the toughest question I've asked in the last three months, which astronomer gave his name to the equation that indicates the number of radio communicative civilizations in our galaxy? Sam? Sam? No, 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 no. His name is Frank Drake. It's called the Drake Equation, and it says there's a, you know there's so many stars and so many in the golden no, no, zone. There. Nobody, nobody lost anything. Frank Drake is the answer there. Not phrenology, okay, the answer is not phrenology. What name is given to the study of differences in shape, size and proportions among skulls from various human races? You can have a guess. Craniology. craniology. Is the precise answer. Oh, well done, no, craniology. Steve, uh, what's Steve on there? Get in there, man, I love it's it. positive, that's yeah. the best bit. Uh, so you're on 18. 19. 
Uh, who's not scored on my round yet? Mike Lees? Yes. <laughs> Fraser is whooping your chicken ass. Name the American journalist, commentator, magazine publisher and writer who in 2004 was revealed as the lover of David Blunkett. You'll all remember when I show you. <laughs> Fraser. John Madden. John Madden, <laughs> like the, the American football commentator. <laughs> good, good try. Unlike, unlikely. But... Uh, anybody else? There's another nearly seven billion to go here. <laughs> Mike, <laughs> right above. Mike, Mike Lee. Johnson. No, it's tell them everybody. Kimberly Quinn. Her name was Kimberly Quinn. Do you remember her? Yeah, no. All right. Yeah. Okay, last question. Come on, Mike. I'm directing this one straight at you. Judy Hopps is an aspiring police officer who teams up with con artist Nick Wilde to solve a case of disappearing animals in which fictional city? Given different names on either side of the Atlantic by the Disney Corporation in their 2016 release. Zootropolis. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, 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 well done. Well, get on with the next one. Who's sit, going to sit in the hot seat and ask some questions? Right, we've got Steve Rose, we're going to ask the questions. Uh, are you okay for spotting them, guys? Can I chill out on this yeah, one? Yeah, I can do this. Right, don't let me interfere with you, all right? I'm going to keep quiet on this one, it's all yours. First time ever, go. <laughs> you, could have, you could have had Zootopia on the last one as well. It's called Zootopia over there, Zootopia and over there. And in Wikipedia, it's Zootopia, so I think that's what we're going to go with. Day after tomorrow and live, die, repeat and all that business. I don't know why they do it. It's a good film. Are you ready? You ready? Is that going to be as long as... Um, question one. Which former England Rugby Union international is the current European Player of the Year? Fraser. Johnny Wilkinson. No. Mark Laycock. Welsh. Hastings. Steve Drax. Twelve Trees. No, Carter. Mike. Robinson. The current European Player of the Year. No. Ah! Sam? No. I think um, Chris Gerson had a scissor on the one. Um, no, he plays, he plays for two long, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. 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 Nick Abendanon. Yeah, I think he was named. <coughs> Raga! Question two. The first female African Prime Minister, Elizabeth Demetian. <coughs> Draft. <Jack. laughs> no. That's the oh, no, point. Right. Oh. What, sorry, what do you say there? The first female African Prime Minister, Elizabeth Demetian, Another served which? It's okay, we got Served which country from 1970? Liberia. No, one away. That's one away. We'll served which country from 1975 to 1976? Mark? Nigeria. No, Carter! Mike? Kina Faso. Sam? Sam. Sir Steve? Malawi? No, is that it? Fraser? Tom, Togo? It was the Central African Republic. Oh, oh you yes. standard answer! <laughs> question, three. question three. Who composed the 20th century works? Billy the Kid. Jack? Question four. First elected a member of parliament for Rushcliffe in Nottinghamshire in 1970. Who is the longest standing... Cons Jack? No. Okay. Who is the longest standing Conservative MP in the Commons? Fraser. Ken Clark, it is Ken Clark. Oh, 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 o
Yeah, yeah. Nice one. Dag him down. Dag him down. Tony? Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think what the next song is called. I don't know what the song is called. Nah, that's that's time, I think. Yeah. Mike, Mike, Mike. Australian? Yeah. Um, Formed in 1982, but best known for their 1997 number two, Tup Thumping, Chumba Wumba, were formed in which northern English oh. town? Oh. <laughs> oh. Who have we got left? Steve, as well. Fraser. Fraser? Leeds? No. 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 Oh, right. Sheffield? No, that's it. Yeah. Burnley. Burnley. Really? That's worse than Oxbow Lake, is that one? <laughs> what a belted swerve, Steve. What, number six. What is both the southernmost and westernmost city in New Zealand? Mike. No. Mark. Auckland. Sam. No. Tony. Um, Salisbury. No. Jack. Yeah. Jack's right, yeah. In the cargo. I think that Auckland is the northernmost, <laughs> the easternmost. Num number seven. On which river does the city of Antwerp stand? Did you write that one over there? Jack, Jack. Well. Um, number, number eight. On a cognac bottle, what does. Mark, very special tale. Yeah. Um, number nine. What does the K What did the K stand for in the name of U.S. President James K. Jack. Knox is correct. Yeah. I'd be Jack Connor. I was going to say Knox. Uh, <laughs> stretch us a little bit first. Right, um, next one. Dummy was a 1994. Jack? Incorrect. Oh. Sorry? Bristol. Correct. Oh. Oh. You were first. That's a beaten Jack. Sam. Yeah, it's important to say there's an area in which English city. <laughs> you dirty swerving again. Mm. Uh, no one does. Who was the Roman god of beginnings and transitions? Janus. Yeah. Oh. I have a huge Janus and Dick. What a Christian. <laughs> Number 12. What was the name of Thomas Hardy's final novel? Jack. Yeah. I would say that was, pub that was publicly burned by the Bishop of Wakefield in 1895 for its controversial content. Fabulous, fabulous book. Can I just say to any teachers watching this, but uh, thanks for putting me off Thomas Hardy and Shakespeare for 40 years of my life, you bastards. <laughs> 13. <laughs> what is the name of the industrial implementation of the reaction of nitrogen and hydrogen? <laughs> Mike. Ammonia. Tony. Yeah, the Bosch process. Yeah. Is that one oh, away from oh, Mike? Or? It is one away from Mike, yeah. So they say, and hydrogen in order to make ah, ammonia. Would have accepted Haber, but it's Haber. Um, number 15. <laughs> Ber Berkey Carra. Jack. Yeah. Oh, Jack. Oh, Jack. It's the largest city in which country. 16. For what film did Gregory Peck win the 19th? <laughs> Uh, Kill Mockerbirds. Yes. Born in Bristol in 1774, whose works include The In Shape Rock, After Blenheim, and Cataract of Lodore. He became Poet Laureate in 1813. <laughs> yeah. Oh, going for the wrong one. Well, she said Lador, Lake, uh, Lake District. Which horse crossed the line first in the 1993 Grand National? Jack? I should not say this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, Jack. Oh, Jack. Mark Lake up 15, Jack Bennett 13. Three left. Britain won gold in the women's team cycling pursuit at the 2012 Olympic Games at the London Velodrome. Excluding Laura Trott, name either of the other two. Jack? No. Is that one away? Yes, because I've not seen the last 
So, Sam? King. Daniel King. Oh, John and Nelson. That's a very good answer. It's pretty good. I think you bailed a few people out there as well. Quite Nineteen. What was REM's first UK top forty single? No. Mike. Man on the moon. Man on the moon. No. Mark. It's the end of the world as we know it. No. Tony. Let's top the world. Um. Yeah. The one I love. Yeah, 1987. Oh, that. I was going to say the same Seconds away from a big time. It's good when he has a long time. And the last one here. What two counties share the shortest land border in England at just 18 metres? Jack? Rutland and Leicestershire. No. Is that question? Christmas finished yet? Sam? Rutland and Cambridge. No. Tony? Shropshire and Herefordshire. No one else. <laughs> Leave us in Oxfordshire. No. No, mate. I can't have that one. There's no one else going for it. No. Yeah. Mark? Oxfordshire and Cambridgeshire. Lincolnshire and Cambridgeshire. No. Northampton and Durham. Lincolnshire and Northamptonshire. Oh, I thought it was Lincolnshire. I can't remember what the other one was. Yeah. Are you going to go? Yeah. Okay, number one. Uh, this person has many directing credits to his name, including The Birds 2, the television version of the 1984 film June, the pilot episode of MacGyver, and the video for Maria by Blondie. Between 1968 and 2000, what name did the Directors Guild of America allow directors to put on the credits if they were dissatisfied with the final production due to the interference of other people? Jack. Jack. Nope. No. Who is it? Mike Lees. No. He's <laughs> multi talented, but. Uh, Jacks. Jack Lemon. No. No, nobody. Tony. Jack Clinch or something. No. No, Carter. Sam Smith. Who's next? Sorry. Uh, Sam, Smith. Sam. Sam Smith. No. Um, John Smith. No. no. Alan Smithy. Alan Smithy. Oh. Oh. Okay, number two. What is the only novel by Charles Dickens which has a female title character? Uh, Little Dorrit. Little Dorrit, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jack, better click on Jack's name. No, it doesn't work. Just click on anywhere over there. And then die. Uh, okay. Okay. This musical trio was formed in the 1970s, and two of its members, a formerly married couple, have been ever present in the group. The original third member was Matthew Corbett, who was then replaced by Roger Walker, who had gone to play Bunny in the soap El Dorado. The final third member joined the group in 1980, and that's the surname Marks. What is the name of the group who have their own children's TV series in the 1980s, and are regulars on the TV show Rainbow? Oh, Jane and Freddie. Oh, Jane and Freddie. Yeah, as soon as he's actually married. Yeah, I'm surprised they're not away with that. I'm surprised they're not away with that. Freddie's actually married to Jane, so she left Rod and went out with Freddie. Oh, I Number four. Oh, reset, reset. Yeah, just press start. Yeah, that's alright. Featuring an Arbor Knight on horseback, the 1513 engraving Night, Death and the Devil was created by which artist? Jack. Yeah, Jura. Go on, sir. Number five. In the Tarzan stories, what is the surname of Jane? Tony. Oh, Scott. Porter. Porter, yeah. Scott Porter. <laughs> Wait, that's one. I've got the Porter Street where you went up yet. Right, number five. What is the name of the dragon in Greek mythology who has been called the father of all monsters? His children with his wife Echidna include Cerberus, the Nemean lion, and the Chimera. Typhon. Yeah. Okay, number six. The 1982 Eurovision Song Contest, won by Nicole, was held in which English? 
Harrogate. Harrogate, yeah. Sorry. What's Sam? Number seven. This actor's roles include Geordie the Crazy Dutchman in the Lockstock TV series, Gary Gordon in Black Hawk Down, and the tennis player Dieter Prohl in Wimbledon. His most famous role is playing the incestuous member of the Kingsguard, Jamie Lannister, in Game of Thrones. I thought, Mark, they got to be all over this. <laughs> Tony? Nico Clowns something or other. No, can't give you that. <laughs> can I say it? Yeah, so you can see Nikolai Costa Waldo. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> what was this? Nikolai Costa Waldo. Then you want to claim a drink? I spoke. Should have been all, <laughs> should have been all over that. Oh. Right, number eight. This island can only be accessed by a ferry or a private boat. Uh, because grey squirrels were never introduced here, it's one of the few places in the south of England where red squirrels survive. Henry VIII built a castle on the island, which is now leased to the John Lewis partnership and used as a staff hotel, which is the largest of the eight islands in Pearl Harbour and the site of the first scout camp organised by Robert Bailey. Brown Sea. Brown Sea, yeah. Brown sea, yeah. Number nine. The Battle of Agincourt took place on the 25th of October. <laughs> Jack? No, 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 it's Sam. 15th century. No. On the feast day of which saint? No, Carter. Fraser. Saint Crispin. Crispin, yeah. Go on, Fraser! Go on, Fraser. Yeah. <laughs> Jack and Tony were on the way. Sam or Sam. You could have smelled the swerve there. You smell it. It wasn't swerve, he just jumped again. He had the stench of swerve. That was a swerve, Mike. He's an expert at the terms of that. Right, number 10. Which structure links the interrogation rooms of the Doge's Palace in Venice? Bridge of size, yeah. Number 11. This film was released in 1983 and its cast include Todd Carty, Bernard Breslau, Robbie Coltrane, Alan Armstrong, and Liam Neeson. The film is. Not Krull. Krull, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Alan Armstrong and his leather pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good suit him. He only held the position from 96 to 98 AD. But which Roman emperor is considered by Machiavelli, Machiavelli to be the first of the five good emperors? Not harder. Click. No. no. Tony. Titus. No. Steve. Trace. No. Mike. No. Diocletian. No. Jack. Nerva. Nerva. Yeah. Number thirteen. Also used the term of endearment in parts of the North East England. What animal is a hybrid? <laughs> sorry, Tony. Oh, sorry. Hinny. Hinny. Yeah. Oh, fuck me, I will, uh, will be. <laughs> right. 14. Teams from which sport have won the BBC Sports Personality Team of the Year award the most times? Not harder! Cricket? Nope. <coughs> Mark? Sport, uh, football. Football, yeah. Oh, <laughs> right. uh, 15. Which 1983 film sequel, directed by Sylvester Stallone, does he make an uncredited cameo which sees the main character, Tony Monero, <laughs> Staying alive. Staying alive, yeah. Nine, nine, nine. Right, sixteen. World titles in which sport have been won by the Prince of Wales in 1995, John Boyd in 2001, the Viking in 2004, and Scott... <laughs> Mike Darts. Darts, yeah. Oh, come on, Is it John Boyd? Oh, oh, John Boyd. Yeah. 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 He said the Viking. Oh, dear. Right, 17. Uh, Cervantes. Raphael. Siegfried. Rock. Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur, yeah. The game. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 18. Which Trinidad Trinidadian-born German singer was, 
Hadaway. Hadaway, yeah. The only Trinidadian singer, I think. Hadaway and shite. That's what I'm saying about that. That was my last clue. Number 19. This person was assassinated in 935 AD in a plot led by his brother, Boris Lav the Cruel. He was the Duke of Bohemia. Wenceslas. yeah. And number 20. Uh, which person is the leading actor in the 1988 John Carpenter film, They Live? <laughs> Rowdy Roddy Piper! Rowdy Roddy Piper! I love your no. questions! <laughs> I came here to chew yeah, bubble gum and kick ass, and I'm all out of the luck. I knew you were going to Okay, we all sit in comfort. This is the last part of, uh, well, basically tilt number two, uh, which will sort out the shake up. Uh, on the screen, if you can't, well, on the screen you'll see in green Tony Wormsley, Mark Laycock, Jack Bennett, and Fraser Lees. Uh, the first three I mentioned uh, at this current moment in time in the royalty final, and Fraser Lees will be in a, a playoff. Mike Lees, Drax Steve, and uh, Sam Roberts. Come on, Sam! A multiple winner. Uh, let's go. Good luck, everybody. Okay, thank you. Question one. Lord Peter Whimsey had a valet called Bunter. What was his Christian name, valet? No, Mike Lee. George. No. <laughs> Matt Laycock. Sinjum. No. Drax Steve. Albert. No. Tony Walmsley. Albert. No. <laughs> Sam Roberts. <Harry>. No. <sighs> Fraser Lee. John. No. <laughs> Time's up. Go on. Movie. <laughs> Question two. Yes, one. Who was the first continental European to win the British Open Golf Championship? No. Mike Leaves. <laughs> no. Nope. Fraser Leaves. Bernard Langer. No. Nope. <laughs> Sam Roberts. No. Nope. <laughs> Tony Walmsley. <laughs> no. Nope. Go on then, give us it. Arnold Massey in 1908. Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> keep them here, keep them pitched in here. <laughs> Couple of block all there for you guys. I'm going to say it before my time. Okay, question three. Which London Underground line currently terminates at Hammersmith? <laughs> Mike Laycock. Metropolitan. Nope. Sam Roberts. Jubilee. Sorry? Jubilee. No. Mike Lees. Victoria. No. Fraser Lees. Uh, Green Line. No. Tony Walmsley. Central. No. Jack Bennett. No. Jack Steve. No. No. Circle. Circle. Question four. Who was Marilyn Monroe's first husband? Sam Roberts by tenth of a second. Yeah. Two points for Sam, well done. Jim Doherty. Jim Doherty. you on eight. Peter. Question five. In which year did the Battle of Lewis take place? Tony Walmsley. 1265. No. Have you finished the question? Yes, I have. We're all good to go. Mike Lees. Correct. Oh! Sorry about that. Sorry, I was going to I'll go for 1266. I 64, mate. Question six. To date, who is the only US president to come from the state of Georgia? Sam Roberts. Jimmy Carter, correct, yeah. Uh, could you check your score, please, Mike Lee? Have you got two positives this round? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, yeah. two negative yeah. positives. Yeah. 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 Number seven. Which soap opera's first episode featured the funeral of no! Jacob? Mike Lee. Emmerdale. Correct. Oh. <laughs> Question eight. Who is currently the manager of West Bromwich Albion? No! 
Uh, Mike Lee's. Tony Peebles. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a hat trick for you, mate? Mm -hmm. Question nine. Hang on, please. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. And go. Question nine. Which is to date ABBA's most recent UK number one single? Tony, oh, we've got a draw. Fraser and Tony, could you whisper your answer to the person next to you, please? Dancing Queen. No. Super Troop is right. So, uh, you finish the question. Uh, Tony Walmsley gets two points. Question 10. Who was the first Englishman to definitely reach the, sub the summit of Mount Everest? <coughs> Tony. Chris Barrington. No. Jack Bennett. Sorry? No, it's New Zealander. And Matt Laycock. Mac. Oh, he's checked me out with Bonington, so... Jack Steve. Brian Blessed. No. Jack <laughs> Robert. I like it. Uh, Randolph Fox. No. Fraser Lees. George Mallory. No. He didn't definitely get there. No. Mike Lees. Johnson. No. Is that it? Doug Scott. Doug Scott, I was going to say. His big beard. Oh, Haston. Haston was Scottish. Uh, no points there, no, no negs. Uh, number 11. If you're an Indian restaurant and you ordered a sarg, what would you receive? <laughs> Mike Laycock. No. Oh, wow. Tony Walmsley. Spinach. It is spinach. Did you finish spinach. the question? Yes. I think you finished the question. So yeah. Tony Wombley. Yeah. I, I, I feel the pain, Mark, because I'm always. Question 12. Two chemical elements are liquids at zero degrees centigrade. Come on, Sam, give them both. Mercury and bromine. If you want me to say one, I'd say oh. the last one. Come on, come on. Bromine <laughs> uh, Ikenav. Yeah, no, you've got, you've got to give it, mate. Yeah, finish it off yeah, the question. Yeah, and the yeah. Oh, yeah. 13. In the Dune series of science fiction books, what is the name of the desert planet? Jack Bennett. Arrakis, yeah. Great answer, Jack. <laughs> Who were the first football club to be promoted automatically into the Football League from the conference? <laughs> Mike Lees. Boris Green. No. Fraser Leaves. Living Athletic. No. Tony Walmsley. No. Sam Roberts. Stephen Ocean. No. Mark Leacock. Rushed and Diamonds. No. Jack Steve. <laughs> no. Uh, one more to go. Uh, that must be Jack Bennett. No. Is it, can we have guesses? Scarborough? Scarborough. I can read everything here. <laughs> No eggs, no points. Question 15. Which 1952 film reputedly includes the longest sword fight? Uh, Sam Roberts. High noon. High noon. Change the It's a point off, I'm afraid. Tony Walmsley. Scaramouche. Scaramouche is correct. Come on. Tony, I've just deducted you a point like a dick, I'm sorry. That, there's one point back and two points on Sam. Listen. There you go. <laughs> right. Question 16. Which breed of dog is named after a character in the novel Guy? Dandy Dindon. Correct. Oh, Jack, what a great answer. Guy Mannering by Walter Scott. Question 17. What was renamed Westminster Blue for export markets? It's uh, Sam Roberts, sorry, I was distracted. Still some no. It's Mark Laycock. Gin? No. Drax? No! Danish boy. No. Fraser? Yeah, I was going to say still some stuff. Well, say something else, come on. <laughs> Time's up. Tony Walmsley? Red, Red Esther. No. <laughs> Mark Lees? Mayfair. No. Is <laughs> that it? Yeah, that's it, go on. Lime's World. Ah, oh, we're on the right track for nothing away, no points. Yet one. Question 18. According to the eponymous song, whose girlfriends included Suki Tawdry, Jenny Diver, Tony Walmsley? Yeah. Are you going to sing it for us later, Tony? Ding ding. Uh, you're catching up with the two to go. 
Matt, keep a clean sheet here, you're good. Number 19, in the Disney film Mulan, what is the name of the dragon? Lampard! Mike Mushu. Lee. Yeah, Mushu. Mushu. And number 20, what was the old time celebrity chef Fanny Craddock's real first name? <laughs> Mike Lee by a third of a second. Isabella. No. Uh, have you finished the question? Yeah. Uh, okay, great. Sam Roberts. Yeah. Is that Phyllis? Phyllis. Yeah. Sam Roberts, great come from behind there. We've got a playoff coming up. Uh, it's a playoff between uh, Sam and uh, Colin. Uh, Colin's a rookie. Sam's a multiple winner of Q12 Lightspeed Quizzes. Uh, for a place in the royalty final and a guaranteed eighth place in the overall rankings today. So uh, good luck, both of you. If you actually end up with a riffraff, you could drop down to last place today and not get any points. So let's see how it goes. It's a very tight quiz today. It's a lot of good people buzzing away. Uh, so this is going to be quite a critical one. Good luck, you all. We're all taking questions between Steve Drax and Steve Kidd. Steve Kidd, uh, Drax from Halifax, and Steve Kidd from Pontefract. So, uh, uh, Steve, fire it away. Good luck, everybody. We are cooking on gas. Making 236 appearances and scoring 120 goals for Liverpool between 1993 and 2001, which player was nicknamed the Toxteth Terrier? Sam! Well, in your lap! Whose catchphrases include If it's up there, I'll give you the money myself. Colin. Bless Dennis. It's two points. Which explorer gave his name to the strait which separates Newfoundland and Nova? Sam. Um, Baron? Nope. Minus one, Sam. Uh, you have not finished the question. Not finished the question. Newfoundland and Nova Scotia. Magellan. No. Davis. No. That's what? Cabot. 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 Which county? Uh, it scores two, uh, two one to Colin. Uh, in which county were Henry the Fourth, Alfred Lord Tennyson, and Isaac Newton all born? Colin. Cambridge. No, we finished the question. Sam. Lincoln. Yes, you're in the lead, Sam. 3-2. Which is the longest nerve in the human body? Sam. Sciatic. Correct. Sciatic. Two points, you are on whatever it is. Admitting male students in 2008, which was the last Oxford U College to be women only. Colin. Lucy Cavendish. I'm afraid not, but no points away. <laughs> it's uh, St. Hilda's. St. Ah. Hilda's. Okay, the musical notation Presto indicates a piece should be played how? Sal. <laughs> yeah. Which group's first UK hit single? Was sorry, Sam. New York mining disaster. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm not going to. Is that a gimme? Bee Gees. Yeah, the Bee Gees is correct. Three points. I think it was a gimme, Tony, as well. Next one. Which word can mean a person who sells small articles for sewing, such as buttons, ribbons, and zips, or another term for a men's outfit? Sam. Haberdashery. 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 Yes. Put Sam on nine and two points away from the W and into the final. We're cooking on gas, it's my question. Whose first game as Wales manager was on the 8th of February 2011? His last... Sam. Yeah. You've put yourself out of reach over the next question. Uh, Colin. I was on the 8th of February 2011. His last, a 4-1 home win against Norway the same year. Mark Hughes. And, uh, and he talked to himself, Gary Speed. <laughs> Who wrote the Pulitzer Prize winning book, The McCain Mutiny? Sam. Hook for next, I think. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That might be coming up later on. Uh, next one. I'm not asking another music question, a lot of music questions dropping in together. 
How much in pounds is a station on a Monopoly board? <laughs> Colin? 500. No? Sam? You're in the final. Well done. Well. Okay, take another break while I start to see that. Those uh, scores don't count for record purposes, but I will be just putting a couple on just to get started right there.